Problem number 7 of 2021, Amy 2. We have four equations and we want to find a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. It says it is m over n in lowest term. m plus n is what? Our equations are a plus b equal to negative 3, ab plus bc plus ca equal to negative 4, abc plus bcd plus cda plus dab equal to 14, and abcd equal to 30. Okay, as I said before, replacement is one of the most and powerful things and basic things we want to use here. I know that a plus b equal to negative 3 and abcd is 30. So from this part, I want to get rid of d. So I say d equal to 30 over abc. I divide both sides by abc. I can do it because abc is not 0. If it was 0, then left side will be 0 and it is 30 contradiction. So d equal to this. Now a plus b equal to negative 3. I want to see how I can use a plus b equal to negative 3. So here, this one, this one, if I factor from c, let's see, I write a, b, and this plus c. So I can factor from what for these two terms? c, it will be b plus a equal to negative 4. a plus b is what? is negative 3. So we can conclude what? a, b minus 3c equal to negative 4. Now we want to use a third equation. So here I have a, b, c, this part, and here we have d. So I can say what? I can say a, b, c plus I factor from d, it will be b, c plus c, a plus a, b equal to 14. Now, from here, I know it is a, b we have, so let's see what can we use. I can um, factorize, or I can say it is a, b plus b, c plus c, a. It is negative 4. So it is what? It is negative 4. So here I can say what? I can say from these parts, you can use d or a, b, c. So if I call a, b, c equal to x, so d equal to 30 over x. Now here, I can say abc is what? x negative 4d equal to 14. So here, we can say d equal to 30 over x. If I replace negative 4, 30 over x equal to 14. Now, if I multiply both sides by x, multiply by x, it will be x squared minus. 4 times 30, 120, and x will be cancelled. 120 equal to 14x. So if you take all things to left-hand side, it will be x squared minus 14x minus 120 equal to 0. You can use quadratic formula, but I prefer to factorize. Here I write x, x. The product should be negative 120 and the sum negative 14. If you place negative... 20 plus 6 then it will be okay so we conclude what we conclude x minus 20 equal to 0 or x plus 6 equal to 0 so from first one we conclude what x equal to 20 or this part take 6 to right hand side negative 6 so at first I consider if x equal to negative 6 and I want to reach contradiction. Recall it x was what? x was a, b, c. And a, b was what from second equation? a, b is what? Here you can take negative 3c to right hand side, 3c minus 4. So if I replace a, b with 3c minus 4, so we can say what? a, b is 3c minus 4 times c equal to what? x negative 6. So I've replaced a, b here, 3c minus 4, and c times c equal to x. x equal to what? Negative 6. So here, if I multiply c times 3c, 3c squared minus 4c and take negative c to left-hand side, it will be plus 6 equal to 0. So it is quadratic function in terms of c. In quadratic function, the formula is this. So here, a is what? The coefficient of 
this is squared is 3, B is negative 4, C is 6. So the formula is this, and inside the square root, we call it discriminant. Because the problem says the roots should be A, B, C, D are real numbers, discriminant should be at least 0. Discriminant here, if you calculate, will be B squared, negative 4 squared from this minus 4ac. This c is not this. This c is only coefficient here. I want to use same formula. So minus 4ac. 3 times 6 is what? Is 16 minus 3 times 6, 18. 4 times 18, 72. It will be less than 0. So in this case, we've reached contradiction and we don't have any real solution for c. So we reject x equal to negative 6. Now we should focus on x equal to 20. So here we recall that x is abc equal to 20. And, and from second equation, we set ab equal to 3c minus 4. So here, if we replace ab with 3c minus 4, 3c minus 4 here, this ab, this ab replaced times c equal to 20. Now, c times this 3c squared minus 4c and take 20 to the left hand side. Negative 20 equal to 0. You can use quadratic formula for solving this, but I prefer to factorize it. 3c, c equal to 0. The product should be negative 20, so you should check some cases. And if you place negative 10 and plus 2, negative 20 will be created. And negative 10c plus 2 times 3c, 6c will be negative 4c. So from here, we conclude this is equal 0 or this one equal to 0. So in case 1, 3c minus 10 equal to 0. So we conclude negative 10 to right hand side, 3c equal to 10, divide both sides by 3c equal to 10 over 3. And in case 2, c plus 2 equal to 0. And if we take 2 to right hand side, c equal to negative 2. So let's check case 1 first. In case 1, c equal to 10 over 3. We said what from second equation? A, B equal to 3C minus 4. So C is this. So we replace 3, 10 over 3 minus 4. 3, 3 will be canceled. 10 minus 4, which is 6. From first equation, in the assumption of the problem, it was A, B equal to negative 3. We use this equation. If we raise, consider squared A plus B squared equal to negative 3 squared which is 9 and then a plus b squared like this it is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab equal to 9. ab from here we said it is 6 so 2 times 6 it will be 12 so a squared plus b squared if you subtract 12 from both sides it will be 9 minus 12 equal to negative 3 because the problem says a b c d are real numbers so here we have contradiction so we don't need to check case 1, we only need to check case 2. Okay, C is negative 2. From second equation, we know what? We know AB equal to 3C minus 4. If we replace C with negative 2 minus 4, it will be negative 6 minus 4 equal to negative 10. Now, we know A plus B equal to what? Equal from first equation, negative 3. The problem says find a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus c squared. If you raise this to the power of 2, a plus b squared equal again negative 3 squared equal to 9. If you use this identity, then a squared plus b squared plus 2ab equal to 9. ab equal to what? Negative 10. So it will be what? Negative 20. So if we take negative 20 to the right hand side, it will be positive 20. 20 plus 9. 29. Now here we want to calculate this. a squared plus b squared equal to what? 29. c is what? Negative 2. It will be negative 2 squared. And d is what? We've calculated dx was 20 and here we said d equal to 30 over x. So we can say d equal to 30 over x which is 20. And it is 3 over 2.
Now we replace here the the we said is three over two squared. So we should calculate this. It will be what twenty nine negative two squared will be four plus three over two squared nine over four. 29 plus 4 is 33. If we use common denominator, 4 times 33, 4 times 3, 12. We have 1, 4 times 3, 12 plus 1, 13 plus 9. It will be 1, 4, 1 over 4. So it is in lowest term, m over n. So m is this, n is this. So m plus n equal the problem says find m plus n. 1, 4, 1 plus 4 equal to 145 so the answer is 145 thanks for subscribing liking my videos and like my videos and turning on notification if you had any other solution comment below this video you can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving thanks for watching this video there are some ideas in all topics if you had any question feel free to send message to my whatsapp number